Jabba D, who you gonna find, Mama, Pop, and Jack? We'll find them, Zion. Pretty soon, we'll find them. Battling against great odds in a big city, but with the inherited will to win surging through their veins, Zebedee and Zion are slowly but surely gaining ground. With Zebedee, the eldest, assuming the role of breadwinner, Zion attending school to be a lawyer, and Zebedee cherishing the desire to be a policeman. In their modest apartment, they study and plan. Zion passing on to Zebedee what he has learned in school to better prepare Zebedee for a police officer. Zebedee tells Zion of the many experiences he has during the day serving the public at his shine chair, so Zion may know of the natural trials of life when he becomes a lawyer. As the pages of time turn, Zebedee has reached his goal. He is now an officer of the law, willingly serving the people as he did at his shine chair, thinking only of rendering help to others, and still keeping his guiding finger on Zion through his remaining short period in law college. be as bad as all that, Mr. Ellis. Well, hello, beautiful. Where did you come from? Are they having a recess in heaven? The name is Jordan. Thelma Jordan to you, Mr. Ellis. And I didn't come from heaven. I've just come from the dining hall. And they weren't having recess. They had beans. Beans? Red beans. But we had red beans yesterday. And the game today, my lord. Oh, well, I didn't miss anything. But you did miss something. And um, what did I miss? Today, there was meat in the beans. Meat? Yep, lean meat, and plenty of it. Oh, no, no. Zion. Oh, excuse me, gorgeous. I'm just trying to figure out how that meat got in those beans. But uh, were you about to say something? Yes, Zion. What did your brother say about us? Oh, uh, he said a lot, son. He said I was too young to think about marriage. He said a fellow should be able to take care of his wife when he's getting married. And what does he know about it? He's never been married. And neither have you. And you mean you agree with what he says? In a way, yes. But we're already engaged, honey. We can get married right after graduation. And where will we live on, may I ask? Uh, I can get a job, can't I? Well, I can work. What kind of work? Oh, any kind. Common labor, if necessary. But that's hard work. And hard work is for mules and fools. There's nothing disgraceful about common labor. No, there isn't. But even a mule has sense enough to turn his back on it. You said that you wanted to be a lawyer. Your brother wants you to attend law school. And I want a husband whom I can feel proud of and respect and depend upon. That last thought sounds as if it came from your bed. Did it? No, Zion. That last part is something that came from my mother. A long, long... I don't know. He hasn't answered my letter yet. 
But I'm wondering what he will say.